Fierce Fitness family, welcome back. So today we are doing a sit down video and you know when we are sitting down like this, we are about something relating to health and wellness. Okay, so here is another section, another segment, <laughs> here's another segment of health and wellness tip with Mel. All right, what's our topic for today? We are going to be discussing anger. So welcome if you are meeting me for the first time. My name is Mel and here we talk about health, fitness, wellness and so on and so forth. Let's just dive right into the video without too much long intro. But don't forget to subscribe if you love content like this. You know health is wealth. So taking care of yourself is essential. It's crucial. It is something that you cannot ignore. If you've been ignoring, stop now. So let's dive right into the topic of today. The topic of today is how anger. I'm going to be looking to the side because I have my notes on the side and i want to follow through as i have made the notes so you can also digest a whole lot anyways that being said the topic for today is how anger can shorten your life we know that a lot of things either people around you uh social media and so many things mostly sh social media you know sometimes something just happened and people are dragging you people are bashing you and all of that and you get so upset and you hear things like oh i'm so angry Ooh, i'm all red i was and all of that these things can actually cause harm to you so you have to be careful when next you're getting angry remember that this is not good for my health so let's start by defining what anger is and i'm going to give you the simplest definition that you can remember i don't want to give you complicated stuff with big words and all of that that you won't remember i want something that will be at the back of your mind so whenever you're you feel like you're getting angry you remember these definitions and you're like okay okay i'm not doing this Ooh, ha. no i'm done right okay so mm, anger is a strong feeling of annoyance, displeasure, or hostility, right? So the next definition I want to give you that I want you to remember is the psychology, psychology definition. Okay, so the psychologist defines anger as, anger is an emotion characterized by antagonism towards someone or something you feel has deliberately done you wrong. And that makes sense, right? okay moving on to the next the next point we have is anger can be a good thing and you might be wondering why you just said anger is not good for your health and now anger can be a good thing okay so let's keep going how let's see why anger can be a good thing so yes anger can be a good thing it can give you a way to express negative feelings for example or motivate you towards solution to a problem but excess anger can cause problem okay yeah so yeah excess anger can cause problem but if you know how to deal with it there's a way something will happen to you that it makes you angry but at the same time after after you are after you finish dealing with that anger or if you know how to deal if you've learned how to deal with anger then you get to the point where that thing that angered you will actually motivate you to do better it will actually motivate you to get yourself you know something like for example you get people that are like mm, you're this you're an illiterate you're for i'm just giving you an example right you're an illiterate you're this you're that that motivates you to say okay i'm gonna prove to you that i can do better i have my little one here okay i'm in a family house so you're gonna be hearing lots of noise here and there but pay attention anyways so anger is something that if you've known how to deal with it you that can actually motivate you so for example somebody, somebody calls you an illiterate you say okay i'm going to prove you wrong and the next thing you decide you're going to write exams you're going to get into school you might even want to get into the best school and you might come out just because you want to prove that person wrong you're doing everything now you're working with anger but in a positive way not in a negative way right to better yourself just to prove that person or that group of persons or whatever the case may be to prove them wrong and you come out graduating with the best result or whatnot going on to get your phd your doctorate and everything just to prove those people just because somebody mocked you laughed at you said something to you that angered you and that had actually pushed you to get better and this this example goes in different ways okay you could be somebody that is uh uh you feel like your weight is too many people always mock you and the next thing you see them going to strictly uh, you know strict weight loss um and this in programs and they lose those where they look different just because they're like enough is enough people are always talking about me people are always uh talking about these things so that is one of it remember okay anger can also be a good thing i don't want to dive too much because i want i don't want the video to be too long anywhere from 12 to 15 minutes it's okay i don't want it to be longer so let's quickly move on to the next point the next point is anger can wreak havoc 
which is absolutely true. There's a way you will anger some people, mostly people that don't know how to control their temper, people that don't know how to deal with anger. And you say certain things to them, they are going to wreak havoc, okay? They are, you, we've seen it happen in the world, even till now as I'm talking. We see it happen all the time. So let's see how anger can wreak havoc. Okay, so anger can wreak havoc, not only physically, but actually to your health also physically i believe you know how some people get angry and they can pick up like a, a baseball button a, 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 you know right that's what it's called for example or a stick or something they will start smashing cars smashing buildings setting fire, ho uh, houses on fire destroying your clothing and all of that that is anger that, that is you like wrecking havoc just because you're angry and you don't know how to deal with it you don't know how to deal with all these emotions that is going on and sometimes they regret it some people don't but that is what anger can cause but let's take, let's go to the other part and look at the how, how anger can wreak havoc on your health so anger can wreak havoc on your health some people describe this anger as feeling as if their blood is about to boil over you hear that right when somebody said i was so angry i went ahead like a friend of yours a family member somebody tell you i want them to explain something i went here i was so upset and this I, my blood was just boiling over i was trying my best that is absolutely true because that is how that person felt at that moment so that this is a simple description of how some people feel about anger while um others will say that others will say things like i turned red in that moment emotions like these can contribute to high risk of heart disease one okay emotions like this can I'll take that again. Emotions like these can contribute to high risk of heart disease, chronic high blood pressure, which a lot of people suffer from these days, and stroke and chronic headache. A lot of people get that also. Skin disorder, digestive problem, and more. Let's move on to the next point. Long-term physical effects of this. Okay, so let's see how, what's the long-term effect of anger when, when you don't know how to deal with it and you're always angry angry all the time and you keep it going so let's see long-term physical effect of uncontrolled anger okay that's the next point we're going to touch down on so let's see what that is that includes increased anxiety a lot of people struggle with anxiety these days you, you hear a lot of people like they're telling you they don't know how to deal with this they suffer from anxiety and all of that they're stressed and whatnot these are things that anger can actually contribute to okay so let's see long-term physical effect of uncontrolled anger includes increased anxiety high blood pressure and headache tightening of the chest you know people who are like oh, i can't breathe they start like oh i can't breathe i can't breathe like, oh, oh. but they're so angry that they get to a point where they're almost passing out because they cannot breathe anymore okay so tightening of the chest let's move on to the next point with some strategies for anger management we cannot talk about anger without talking about anger management right because one thing is telling someone that this is the problem this is what's going to happen to you if you're angry all the time if you don't know how to control your temper but not giving solution then that means the message and whatever you're passing is not helpful because someone that doesn't know how to control their temper or whatnot will still not know what to do, right? So let's see the long-term strategies for anger management. Long-term strate strategies for anger management include regular exercise. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm so excited sharing this with you because most times when we talk about people exercising, a lot of people are thinking about weight loss. And I always say in most of my videos that it's not all about weight loss. For me personally, one of the comments I get a lot is you are already fit. You look fit. Why do you still work out so much? Why do you still exercise so much? And I always tell people that it is not all about me looking fit. I might be looking skinny and looking like them. You say like, oh, you're fit. You look good. You don't have excess fat, this, that, that. But am I okay from the inside also? We need to be exercising to keep fit. And you know that when we get to certain age, we really need these exercises. So let's see the long-term strategies of anger management. It includes regular exercise, learning a relative techniques, and counseling. Okay? So... Did you get that or should I take it again? Because I want you to hear it and hear it very well. So the long-term strategy of anger management includes regular, regular, okay? Not once in a while. Regular exercise, learning relations, technique, okay? How to relate with people and counseling. 
let's quickly move on to the next point which is our final for this because we want the video to be brief and i keep saying it throughout the video anyways so anger management tips i'm going to share some of the tips with you okay so you can practice them at home all right number one i have think before you speak that's the first one think before you speak that's one number two i get get number two i have get some exercise okay exercise exercise no matter how small going for a walk going for a run whatnot do that that's number two number three as um once you are calm express your concern do not speak when you're boiling when you're angry wait until when you're calm and then you can express yourself okay that will help you a lot and number four i have take a time out it is very necessary for everyone and everything you do take a time out it is very necessary number five i have identify possible solutions instead of keep you know hitting the nail on the head of what's going on identify possible solutions okay we can actually break all this down but that we can do in a different video if you want us to do so then next we have number six we have stick with the i statement okay this is very important when you stick with the i statement all right number seven we have don't hold grudge because it's not good for you you might be holding grudge and the person you're holding grudge for don't even know that you're holding grudge so don't hold grudge it is not necessary number seven which is the last and not the least is use humor to release tension it works all the time when you notice that things are not going everywhere it's tensed and all of that add some humor and everybody's just going to lighten up and everything will be better and even you you're going to feel better so thank you so very much for listening to this and if you love subscribe turn on notification bell join the family and you can follow us on facebook we're on instagram tiktok and here on youtube we can talk about health wellness working out together exercises you want you want weight loss whatnot we do have the health and wellness tips that we always share we have a playlist here so you can click on the health and wellness playlist to watch everything related to that so if you enjoy our sit down videos watch more and share to people that you know that will enjoy from this so thank you so very much see you on the next one i am out of here and bye 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 everyone don't get angry don't be angry because anger